The British Home Office has illegally confiscated and read thousands of devices from asylum seekers, according to a British court. The smartphone is a particularly important companion for many asylum seekers. It serves, for example, as a translation aid and a means of communications. Sometimes it is the only connection to relatives. It is all the more drastic when officials confiscate mobile phones from asylum seekers as soon as they arrive in a country. This has happened to thousands of migrants in the UK. At the end of March, the British High Court ruled that the months of confiscation of end devices and the reading of data received from them was illegal. The judgment of the course goes back to a lawsuit by three asylum seekers. The three plaintiffs arrived in Dover between April and September 2020. They started in France together with other asylum seekers and crossed the English Channel in small boats. Upon arrival, officers searched the migrants and confiscated their devices. The newcomers could not write down phone numbers or make a last call, for example, to inform relatives. In addition, officials sometimes asked for the access codes of the devices. They threatened asylum seekers with legal consequences if they did not release the codes. According to the practice of the Ministry of the Interior, data from confiscated end devices of asylum seekers should have been collected by at least July um, 2020. The hearing of the three plaintiffs took place in London at the end of January this year. One allegation by the plaintiffs is that the officials' demand to disclose the PIN numbers and threaten sanctions is unlawful. The mobile phone confiscation and storage of the data violate the right to family and private life and thus Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. In addition, the readout of the data violates the Data Protection Act 2018, according to the plaintiffs. The UK implemented the General Data Protection Regulation with the Data Protection Act in 2018. According to the court, the Ministry of the Interior, the Home Office, first denied that the policy criticized existed. But when the allegations were investigated, it made very significant admissions. The Home Office, for example, acknowledged that its confiscation policies had breached data protection and there was no lawful basis for processing data under the Data Protection Act 2018. The Home Office has also admitted that the extraction of the data was unlawful as was their PIN policy. Ultimately, it turned itself to the UK Data Protection Authority for violating data protection law. Despite this admission, the department maintains that the confiscation of the phones and general search of the asylum seekers was lawful under UK immigration law. The judgment of the judges on March 25th is different. They note that the section relied on by the Home Office cannot be used to conduct searches. The search of the plaintiffs and the confiscation of their phones is therefore not legal. The judges argue that the officer's requirement to reveal access codes and threaten sanctions is also unlawful. Claire Jennings, one of the lawyers involved, also sees the Interior Ministry's actions as a violation of the law. According to the non-governmental organization Privacy International, she says, such a systematic collection of personal data from vulnerable asylum seekers who were not suspected of crime was a stunning and unprecedented assault on fundamental rights to privacy. The judgment of the judges makes it clear that the actions of the officials were also unlawful because the practice, practice was not officially announced and applied across the board. Nearly 2,000 phones were taken from migrants in an indiscriminate sweeping policy, said Daniel Carey, another plaintiff's attorney. In another hearing, the judges will clarify whether the Interior Minister breached her duty of openness by not explaining her policy transparently from the start. The judges did not comment further on data protection issues. The British Data Protection Authority is now investigating the data protection allegations. And I keep saying that it's good if you look beyond your own horizon and get information outside of your bubble. In order to improve this for all my viewers, I have changed some of my channels and you can find out more about different areas of, of politics and explanations there. 
I make the videos a bit more complex, so there's only one video per week on these channels, but with detailed and a bit more visualized explanations. I started this on Monday, April 25th, and you can find the channels and release dates in the video description below this video. So please have a look at those channels. I'll see you there. Bis gleich.